Hello, my name is Roland Suhr and I would like to show you the creation of a reinforcement sheet of a floor with Sophistic Reinforcement Detailing 2014. For this example, I want to do this according to the requirements of the UK to show you possible modifications to meet different local or company standards. For this presentation, I have already prepared this reinforcement sheet with different views and an isometric view of a floor. But before we get started, make sure that you have installed the newest version. You can see this in our log file here on the left. In the drop down list other, you find also some other helpful links. For example, in the user's guide, you will find a lot of general information, a description of all tabs of the settings dialog and of course a command reference with a detailed description of each single tool. Additionally, we have created a new product form for Sophistic Reinforcement Detailing. Don't hesitate to create a new topic to ask a question or if you have a tip to offer. But now back to our project. First, I will assign the whole reinforcement to the sheet S3. The active sheet is always proposed, so we have just to confirm with OK. Normally, I want to see, for example, the reinforcement separate in different views. The new tool, Reinforcement Layers, determines reinforcement layers and writes them into the parameter Sophistic Layers. Before I start the command, let's take a look at the reinforcement sheet. The idea is to see, for example, in the upper left view only the reinforcement on the bottom of the floor. Please observe the view while I'm starting the command reinforcement layers. With one click, I got what I wanted. Now I see in this view only the reinforcement of the bottom layers and here in this view only the upper layer. In the view at the bottom, I see only some additional reinforcement. But what happened? Let's take a look at the properties palette of a rebar set. Here we can see the parameter Sophistic Layer, which is assigned now to the Sophistic Layer T1, which is the closest layer at the top of the floor to the concrete cover. For the visibility of the reinforcement, I have added some view filter which are working with our Sophistic Layers parameter. Now I want to annotate a view with a customized annotation family and the UK style. Here in the other scroll down menu you can easily open our content folder. Let's open the subfolder for the UK and load the annotation Weaver UK family by drag and drop. Now we have to set this family in the Sophistic settings dialog as default. Okay, and now let's start the command hide and tag weavers and choose the whole reinforcement and say finish. As you can see, the weaver sets are hided now and represented by a detail family together with our UK tag family. If something doesn't fit exactly, you have the possibility to make some modifications. For example, to move dimension line on the location of your wish and apply. We see that the dimension line has moved to the right. We have to do the same with our tag manually. As second step, I will start the command tag all. But first, let's take a look in the settings dialog on the river tab. Here in the annotation settings, you will find a new checkbox, which allows you to decide if the still existing rebar tags, which has been placed by the command hide and tag rebars, shall be moved outside the element or not. Let's try this new option. I check this, say OK and start the command tag all. As you can see now, all the tags are placed outside the floor. And additionally, the single rebars are tagged. We see that the bar marks are still missing. But before we start the set bar marks tool, once again, let's take a look in the settings dialog. Because on a general tab, 
we find the next improvement. Here we can decide the minimum digits for bar marks. Let's choose 2 because I heard that's usual a new K. Now let's start the command set bar marks. Let's take the default settings. We don't need an increment for example and say OK. And of course we want to set the bar marks for the sheet S3. And we see the bar mark starts with 0, 1 because of the minimum digits of 2. Additionally, I have added the information about the reinforcement layer to the tag. For this we can use the sophistic layer parameter also, which we have filled with the reinforcement layers command. If you want to use this information in a rebar tag, it's really important to know that this command is using the user given names for the layers, which you can set here in the Revit reinforcement settings. Last but not least, I will show you the extended rounding possibilities. For example, in the UK it is required to round the bar lengths always up to a multiply of 25 mm. To get this solution, you have to choose the calculation method B, which is using the exactly center line of the rebar. Together with the new option that the bar length will always be rounded up. This option is using the same tolerance which you have set in the Revit reinforcement settings for the bar length. For this example, I have chosen the 25 millimeters. Say OK. But note, changes at the reinforcement rounding settings come only into effect after restarting the set bar marks tool because in some cases this setting can be affect the bar marks. But the best would be to decide this at the beginning of your work. Now we are at the end of this tutorial video. I thank you for your attention and hope you will like these forthcoming developments from Sophistic. Thank you.